G'day again, it's Richard Maher from Maher's Classes. Your kids are at home now, so you're going to be wanting to contact them more frequently. To create a mailing list is what you need to do, and you can do that very easily by using an Excel spreadsheet and your contacts app on your Mac. First of all, you will need to get a spreadsheet with the information. Now, here in Western Australia, there is two places you can find um, the data. We can get it from the Department of Education DAMS website, where you can um, just download a student list which has their names and their emails and lots of other information. If you're using Sector in your school, you can do a similar thing. Uh, you'll pull up the role and then click on Export, and that will give you a CSV, that's Comma Separated Value uh, file, which you can has this emails in it, and you can use that to create a contact list. Okay, so you've downloaded your spreadsheet. Now the spreadsheet could have come down as a, an Excel spreadsheet, but you want it as a CSV, the comma separated value type spreadsheet. So you'll go save as, and then you'll select the uh, type, the file format that you want, which is CSV. Now uh, it'll tell you that you'll miss out on some features, so yes, that's okay. So now you've got um, the CSV. The CSV looks pretty much the same. Uh, when you open it up, it will, it will appear the same but it is a different type of format. Next thing you'll do, you're going to go to your contacts. Now when you go to your contacts, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new group. So create a new group and we'll call this um, dummy class. Now uh, this will be our new group. It will have no data in it to begin with, uh, but that's our dummy class there. Then we're going to say Im import data. When you go import data, I'll then be looking for that sample email spreadsheet that I've got. When I get that, it'll uh, start to import it. But when we look at it, it'll have uh, first name, company. It's got lots of stuff I don't want. I really don't want. So uh, what I'll do is I'll say for the company, I don't want to import it. Um, the first name, last name, I do want to import. Uh, if there was a phone number, yes, I'd import that. Don't import, don't import. Um, these sorts of ones are probably not even going to be in our um, spreadsheets. Um, and the rest looks okay. Okay, if, there, if it is there, we'll import it anyway. So we'll go okay. Now we've got all the names there. That's our contact um, list. Uh, when we look at this here, we've got his name, his email, and a few other things in there as well. Now, when we do that, what that now means is we've called this dummy class. If I now go to my email, and unfortunately you're going to see some of my emails when I do this, but if I uh, get rid of that so you can't actually see what's in there, if I create a new email and I type in dummy um, class, it'll start to populate it with those email addresses that I've got. A really simple way to create a mailing list um, to use to contact your students.